In today's video, we explore the evolution of Rhea Ripley's finishing maneuvers. Rhea Ripley started her pro wrestling career in 2013. She notably competed in Riot City Wrestling in South Australia. On the independent scene, her original finishing move was the Eat Defeat, a wrestling move made popular by Gail Kim. A few years later, she adopted the Missile Dropkick and then the GTS as her match-ending maneuvers, however, she also won some matches with the Piledriver, and with the Fujiwara Armbar. Let's check out how these finishers look in the recap now. Rhea Ripley made her WWE debut during the inaugural Mae Young Classic in 2017, where she advanced to the second round before being defeated by Dakota Kai. Notably, in her first round match, Ripley executed the full Nelson Slam, a move she used only once as a finishing maneuver throughout her career. Afterward, she faced several setbacks until 2018 when she entered the second edition of the Mae Young Classic and reached the semifinal. She displayed a more aggressive attitude and debuted her new finishing move, the Riptide, which has remained her trademark maneuver ever since. Let's check out how these finishers look in the recap now. Following the 2018 Mae Young Classic, Ripley transitioned to the NXT UK brand, and subsequently to NXT in 2019, before making her way to the main roster in 2021. Since 2019, she added a stunning submission maneuver to her moveset, a standing inverted Texas Cloverleaf, branded Prism Trap. Let's check out how it looks in the recap now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Help my channel to grow, leave a like and a comment. Tell me in the comments who you want to see next. Use the middle button to subscribe, or watch more of my videos here.